So welcome everybody, and uh, you can uncheck the check mark at this point. Good to have all of you today. I've prepared a slide presentation, um, but I'd like this to be a bit interactive. So feel free to stop me anytime with questions by raising your hand, and I would love to get a conversation going with all of you. If that sounds okay, uh, why doesn't everybody uh, clap their hands? That's right next to the raise hand button to the right of it. So if you like the approach, thank you very much. Always great to get feedback from participants. Uh, somebody, Jeff's a little confused, but everybody else seems to be okay. So I'm going to move on. So just to bring us back to the beginning of the week that we spent together, we uh, entered into this workshop as a community to really begin to think about how we create the elements of an institutional business case. Uh, with a hope that we would bring this business case forward within our own realm, or at least uh, be more informed about what it takes and what the thinking uh, that is behind a business case. And a secondary benefit is obviously establishing pure connections so that we can share ideas together. I've been quite pleased with the discourse and the discussion boards, and I hope you uh, have grown to feel like we all know each other a little bit more. And I'll hope, I hope we will use each other's resources as we move forward. So when we talk about creating institutional support, what we're really saying is we want to move from the individual faculty member perhaps making their own online or blended course to their own experimentation to deliberately thinking about how we move into the online realm from an institutional perspective. Uh, we're talking about getting the sponsorship and resources that we need to satisfy a diverse set of stakeholders to arrive at a programmatic approach to online education. And so when we do that, we really begin to address a wide array of issues. Um, most importantly, you know, we need to think about what is the program offering. So as I read the TC case, you know, my takeaway is that we're talking about a fully online MBA. And my question for us this morning is, given what TC is good at and, and has, is known for, you know, should this be an, an MBA with an engineering focus? Should this be an MBA with a critical thinking focus? What do you guys think? So at this point, I would love to hear your thoughts on the program offering. And so who is willing to raise their hand and, and has a thought on the program offering? Don't be shy. So, Alan, I'm going to let go of the mic and give it to you. So, Alan, in order to talk, you just need to press on the talk button on the lower left, and uh, you can contribute your, your thoughts to this live workshop. Hi, can you hear me? I, I hope you can. It looks like it's picking my voice up. Um, I was thinking more of something like project-based. So that, I mean, I like the engineering focus, but I think that um, people in technology need an MBA and other fields as well. And maybe an engineering focus might scare away some people who aren't, don't consider themselves that mathematically oriented. But project-based learning um, would allow um, individuals to explore an MBA in their field of interest. So that might be an idea we could consider. So I think Ellen raises a really great point and perhaps a distinctive point in that if we can use both an online delivery approach as well as a project-based uh, pedagogy, you know, perhaps we have a uniquely compelling approach to, to delivering the MBA. What do people think about that? 